Hey, you bub up here. This video is a guide for beginners looking to mod their stabilizers. I will be showing three different types of mods and a basic way to mod for people who have soldered switches and can't remove them. A quick disclaimer is that I do not did not come up with any of these mods and the credits to the original creators will be in the description. For this video, I'll be using the spacebar for demonstration. However, everything shown can be applied to other modifier keys such as the enter key, the shift key, and the backspace key. Okay, so to start off, you want to remove the keycap and switch. Removing the stabilizer is very simple. I like to use tweezers, however, you can use screwdrivers or any other kind of pointy tool. All you need to do is push up on the latch and it should come free. Repeat this for the other side. Now that the stabilizer is out, you want to disassemble it by gently unclipping the wire and sliding the stem out of the housing. Here are the parts labeled to remove any confusion. The first step you want to do is clip the stem legs. You can do this by using nail clippers or any other kind of cutter. You want to make sure to clip the thinner legs and not the actual legs. Repeat this for the other stem. Okay, now that that's done, I will do the first mod, the holy mod. This mod basically lines the inner surface of the stem, muting the sound of the wire hitting the ramp. You can use band-aid or in my case, medical tape. You want to cut your tape in a thin strip just wide enough to fit the stem hole. Next you want to insert the strip into the stem and make sure it lines up with the ramp. Once you're done adjusting everything, you want to make sure the tape is adhered properly by rubbing your tweezers against it. Finally, shove the remaining tape into the upper hole. This is how the end result should look like. Repeat this step for the other stem. To loop the stem and housing, I will be using Frytox 205 grade 0. Using a brush, I like to dab a small amount of loop and apply it evenly across the flat side of the stem. Make sure to do this on both sides. Repeat this for the other stem. Next, looping the housings is basically the same thing. A small dab of lube and evenly apply it on both inner sides. Repeat this for the other housing. Now while we're done looping everything, we have to reinsert the stem back into the housing. The stems must be inserted in the correct orientation for the stabilizer to work properly, so please pay close attention. Now it's time to loop the wires. I like to use dielectric grease, however any kind of thick loop should work just as well. To reassemble, line the wire head with the stabilizer hole and click it back in place. Repeat this for the other end. After inserting the stabilizer into the keyboard, some may notice that the housings sit loosely. This is where the band-aid mod comes in handy.
I removed the stabilizer for easier access. For this mod, using any kind of tape, in this case, I'll be using medical tape, where the latch end of the stabilizer sits. This reduces the gap between the latch and the plate, which allows it to sit tighter. Every stabilizer sits differently, so play around with the layers until the housings don't move around on your keyboard. When reinserting the stabilizers, you may need to force the latches to lock. Once again, I test to see if there's any movement and the right side still seems a little bit loose. So I decide to add another two layers of tape and that solves the issue. Alright, now reinserting the switch and keycap, here's the sound test. The next mod is called the Band-Aid Wrap. As the name states, you wrap the band-aid around the end of the wire, in this case, I am once again using medical tape. This mod is basically the holy mod but for the wires. I would suggest this mod for beginners as it is much simpler and less time consuming. Once complete, repeat what we did earlier, looping the wires and reassembling. Now that we are done, here's a sound test. Finally, for those who have soldered switches and can't access your whole stabilizer, you can loop your stabilizer by lifting up the stem and jamming loop into the front and looping the sides. Although this won't give the best results, it's the only way I could think of to loop them with partial access. However, you can apply the band-aid mod as it only requires you to partially lift up the stabilizer. Alright, so that's basically the end of this video. Uh, if this helped you out, please consider liking the video and subscribing. It really helps my channel grow. Also, I want to thank you guys for over 300 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. Finally, I apologize for a lack of builds recently. Originally, I planned to post a build for 300 subscribers and a few more after. However, due to shipping delays, those videos have been postponed. So please hang on a little bit longer. I have a lot more content coming up. Anyways, thanks for watching the video and peace.